This is a response video to Matt. Um, figure I'll try this one more time. The general subject is um, <clears throat> science and uh, religion um, and a perceived need to somehow integrate uh, science and more romantic notions of existence, let's say. Um, so my argument would be, first, that si this uh, thing you were calling science doesn't, it doesn't even exist. Um, you know, and even if it did exist, this thing called science, um, this group, this cabal, this enemy, this um, potential danger, um, you know, science doesn't make any of the decisions about how knowledge, which science creates, is used. It's just not you know, science doesn't make those decisions. Scientists and sit there somewhere, you know, the science god or science and say, no, um, this technology has certain applications and blah, 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 so we won't pursue this field any further. Um, science wants to know answers. I mean, even when you ban, you know, they can ban something in one country and they'll still pursue it in another country because it's, it is science and people want to, even, even if it's not something, even if it's a, a method they don't have a, 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 an immediate use for in terms of it's unethical or something else like cloning, um, the capacity to do it and understand it might have applications for cancer and other things. So, I mean, it, it's, you know, a, a, a good scientist isn't going to sit there and run away from a harmless experiment um, because, you know, this idiots might do something bad with the what is learned from the experiment um, I mean Einstein wasn't guilty of a crime um, by revealing the truth and you know making a nuclear bomb possible because it was nuclear power was the real you know the, the benefit and so we chose to um, you know as a society as a culture we made decisions about how we were going to apply that knowledge and we applied it to making weapons instead of making energy and that was our choice um, so uh, anyway and then uh, you know, even if I guess it's not, and then this whole the whole way you're de describing science is just I, I, you know it's just, just not quite right um, for me it just doesn't sit right and I'll use as an example <coughs> you know I mean you went to school they, they separate, you know, um, physics, chemistry, and biology, you know, into different subjects. Um, what's the difference? It's all one subject. I mean, you know, physics is chemistry, and chemistry is biology, and vice versa for all of those. You can't separate one from the other. It's, 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 they're all on the same continuum, and it just... It was a contrivance to separate them. It was something humans decided to do to this stream, this, this chain of, of knowledge to somehow make it more, um, you know, so they could spoon feed it or whatever, whatever the rationale was. But it's a contrivance. These are not separate subjects. They are the same subject. It is all science. And science itself is just another word. And... Uh, I would argue that um, you know, I did in the comments, and you really didn't answer this this comment. But uh, you know, science is engineering. Uh, that's what it is. You're either en you're 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 engineering a route to discovery, or you're you're engineering a route to creation. But it has to do with with engineering a, a mythology, a, a process that will. Um, gain you uh, knowledge uh, of, of either a truth or of how to do something. And, um, uh, you know, in a sense, it, it's like logic and it feeds on itself. Um, I mean, we learn processes and then we apply those processes to learn a new process. Um, and uh, you can see it in our history. I mean, you learn how to you know, extract metals from ore, and then you learn to combine different uh, elements and create, you know, a, a new compound. And, uh, you know, uh, you, you learn a mythology you have to follow to do that. And all of this stuff is science. 
and um, I, I mean I have a garden and uh, you know I'll, I'll, I cross my plants and and uh, you know so in a way I'm conducting a scientific experiment every year because the next year I have different you know colors and, and shapes and sizes of a particular plant because I decided to play with their genetics and and uh, um, you know so science is everywhere I mean it's, it's you know you can be a scientist in your living room um, you can you know and so this idea that somehow science is strangling you know or resisting or stopping um, exploration of these altered states that you are interested in um, of altered states of consciousness um, or mystical states of awareness or however you want to put it um, there's nothing stopping you or anybody else from scientifically um, exploring that uh, field um, uh, you know but yeah the rest of the scientific community or the rest of rational um, thinkers might reject uh, you know um, some kind of nonsense you come up with I mean we got TV shows on cable you know called the Discovery Channel different channel sci-fi channel whatever and you know they <coughs> you know they have mystics and psychics and ghost you know paranormal events taking place and it's all documented and but you know we all know it's bullshit I mean they have was a guy on television for years talking to the dead uh, you know um, and but everybody knows what it is it's a fraud and uh, you know it's not science there's nothing to discover there except that you know humans like to fool each other for money and um, you know, you're, the, this whole concept that you're, you're finding a better reality, um, but you completely reject the idea of artificial intelligence, and and so I guess um, virtual reality would be offensive to you, um, and you think it all should be done through the brain chemistry, uh, these altered states, and it was you know it just seems like a silly distinction. I mean, I, you know, um, I don't want to get vulgar, but you know. Um, women uh, sometimes need extra stimulation you know vibrators and such um, to fully realize or actualize a, a superior state and uh, uh, you know of consciousness or awareness or stimulation or whatever you want to call it and uh, you know yeah well you could also do that with chemistry I mean certainly you, get, you can just get women drunk or you can give them LSD or you can do something else and then they can have the more complete experience um, but you know what's the difference it's still you hear you are talking about nature and you, you know and then you're talking about you know, what's more unnatural than um, you know forcing your brain into some kind of um, uh, surreal or, or artificial um, consciousness or, you know if I can force myself into a delusional dream state you know might be an interesting concept but what's what purpose would that serve I'm just escaping reality I'm escaping nature and um, and you know look I mean I've did my share of drugs and uh, I spent three hours one evening um, contemplating dust bunnies under the bed and and you know thought it was a profound experience um, but, uh, you know, in hindsight, I know what it was, you know, I was fucked up and, uh, you know, I, I just, I just don't see it. I mean, you're, you're, you're looking, I, I just, I just don't see anything here. I, all I see here is a, as an effort to escape reality. Um, but at the same time, no willingness to concede reality sucks which is kind of bizarre um, and so yeah you you know um, I, I shouldn't do I you know I wasn't gonna do this response it's just that yeah I'm still listening to your videos and you know it's like yeah I just sat through 40 minutes of talking around circles and, and so um, I would just say that yeah I think there needs to be a better framework